Shopper back again with another mint in box and yes we're doing more blind bag openings because if it's good enough for Ashens it's good enough for me and today we're looking at Thundercats minifigures series 1 12 to collect bloody blah, blah and this came with another delivery from Mischief so I've got a bunch of Thundercats to review this time and we're starting off with these but unlike when I got the Power Rangers stuff I only got six this time <laughs> I got eight and these are significantly bigger figures so it's a nice hefty bunch I'm only going to be opening seven today because I already opened one because I got so excited I had to see and just to show you I got a black Mumra uh, waist swivel, head swivel, that's about it translucent black and it's alright, it's a big hefty figure and there's lots of sculpted detail on it looks pretty good but it's another one of those cases where you've got 12 to collect and only 6 of them are in colour. The rest are all like this. But we'll stick him there for now and we'll get cracking on with opening these. Because I know you guys love doing these. I really like the... Oh! <laughs> Moving on. I really like the new Thundercat series, it felt epic, it felt how it should have been back in the 80s, but unfortunately it's been cancelled, it, well it has been cancelled or rather it's not in production anymore so we probably won't be seeing much of anything out of these anymore and hello. kind of stuck there. <laughs> you look so silly. <laughs> Mum are already all those coloured glory. I'll stick all those off across the head. But yeah, it's a shame. It lasted like two, I think it's two seasons, but they did something weird where they just made it one season. But yeah, I like the New Thundercats. It was a damn good series, but as usual, Cartoon Network messed about with it and eventually it got cancelled. Apparently they don't like action shows. Which is evident because they've just put Young Justice back on hiatus. We had two weeks of new episodes and then they went on to another three month hiatus after a three month hiatus. So I wasn't too impressed with that. Oh, it's a cutesy little Chitara. I actually really like the quality on these. These are really good, surprisingly good. Because I looked at the package images and I thought, yeah, there's no way they're going to look that good. They're going to be sloppy and look all deformed and such. But yeah, these are actually pretty good figures. I like them. Can she move her arm? Yes, but it severely bends her stick. There's that one as well. So I'm guessing even though they've got articulation, they're pretty much just supposed to stay in the... Stay in the position they were given, moulded in. But yeah, Cartoon Network have really been down on action shows recently because we've put DC Nation on another hiatus and that sucks because I don't know about the Green Lantern show but it's pretty good and Young Justice is bloody amazing and hello Tigra ooh not ugh. really weird almost a slimy texture coming off of this white part. Ugh. Is it made out of cream? Ugh. Not sure I like that. 
Yeah, again, waste. Ooh. Plastic sticking on these, something awful. But yeah, you can move it. Al, I think his weapon could actually be detached, which is interesting. Yeah, Thundercats are, has basically died, so. While it's a shame, all those figures that you couldn't really get hold of because they were still full price, you might be able to pick them up on the cheap now, which is always a good thing. I mean, it's a shame the series has ended, but at least you'll be able to pick up all these figures for relatively cheaply. Holy crap, I've got through... Yeah, I've got through five already and I'm just waffling. Yeah, these are pretty good. Who's this? Panthro! Ugh. He's got a horrible bogey sticking out of his nose. Can I scrape that off? No, oh, I think that's just paint that's chipped off. That's a shame. I really don't... Oh, his face sculpt's horrible. It looks like a disapproving math teacher. Almost Snape-like. People will think you're up to something. Potter. <laughs> because it's dull, you idiot. It'll hurt more. Yeah. Uh, I'm not feeling Panthro, guys. This one's... Something I've noticed out of all the figures for Panthro is he really can't get his face sculpted right. It always looks odd. Which is kind of bad. But we've got... most of the figures right here. Hopefully the last two will be like Slyther and Lino. That'd be good. throw. Not entirely sure if that's racist or not, considering his voice by Kevin Michael Richardson. Ha! <laughs> but then again, who isn't voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson at the minute? <laughs> Body up in here. Body up in here. No. Really? As much as I love doing these blind bag openings, you kind of su suffer for stuff to talk about. I think most of this has been talking about my love of Young Justice. And isn't it a shame Young Justice never got a real big toy line? Mattel really fucked up on that, but then again, Mattel fuck up on a lot of things. Right, who we got? And we got a duplicate Tigra. Fair enough. But yeah, these look pretty good, damn good. I think you can get all the figures in a six pack. So you don't have to buy all the blind bags. I can't help but wonder what other figures we might have seen if the if the line had carried on. I mean, would have, would we have seen Claudus, Groon, the Wily Kittens, that female one who appeared late in the season? I can't remember her name. She's got like a crossbow on her arm. Yeah, we got a pretty good range of figures. They're not bad. They're well sculpted. The paint apps are fairly decent. I mean, I'm noticing some spots on Tigra that aren't great. And Snape's not looking his best. But look at Mumra. Isn't he the cutest little thing? Mumra, baby. Look at him. I think Mumra's the best out of this entire line. He's adorable. <laughs> uh, brilliant. But yeah, those are the Thundercats micro figures. And I'll see you guys soon for more Thundercats action. Take care.